Hi, as of now, we have done a lot of things in our HTML document. In this video, we'll see if I want to play a video or an audio file in my HTML file, how can we do that? So here, we'll actually going to use the embedding tag in order to embed any media object in your HTML page. So in this particular example, I'm going to play a video for you which will be using an embed tag in my HTML and the output will be the video in your browser running. Make sure that you have some plugins, basic plugins or for the media files installed in your browser. Otherwise, your browser will not support any of the media element. So let's see how to start embedding the media objects in your HTML. So as discussed, if I want to use some media element in a web page, I'm going to use the embed tag out here. So here in embed tag, what I'll have to do is, is the SRC means where the video or any media file is located. So here it's a media element. It means there's a folder called media inside which the media element means this video called video.mp4 is located and this directory media is at the same location where I have saved my HTML file. Now here I am giving the relative path for accessing this video. It is as same as we did it for the images. Now once the player for this media will be added in your browser you will mention the height and width of that particular browser. In case your browser doesn't have a plugin to play that particular kind of video, we can use the no embed tag right inside this embed. So in case this media element will not be supported by the browser, I will get this message. In other hand, you can also put an image or any GIF which may replace that video or that may tell about the unavailability of video for any reason. So whatever you want to put when the video is unplayable over your browser, you can put the thing inside this no embed tag. So let's come back to the browser and refresh it and see how this particular page is looking like. So as here you can see, this is one of the video of tutorials point of JavaScript which I have located in that particular location and now as soon as I refresh this page it is started. So in the very same way you can just put the different kind of files like it is mp4 you can put all those file extensions available here which can be supported by the browser. So this is how you can start accessing the video elements or any media elements through HTML. Though in real time web development, we do have some more tools and better tools like in HTML5, we have some other way to include the video or whichever technology you will be working on. They may provide you some of the different controls, which will give you some more advanced features of any media element or any video player. So this is all about how you can access the video through HTML.